What is, what is this stuff out here? Look at it. Looks like what? Yes, you do. Just connective tissue. Dense white fiber is connective tissue. This is the capsule of this lymph node. Okay? This is the capsule of this lymph node. We get under the capsule, and you see how the cells are sparser under the capsule because there's a what? Subcapsular space. And then these are like all T cells out here in the cortex. And so you got a subcapsular space. You can see the light there. You can see the, the T cells, and then you get into the germinal center with the B cells. And if we move on down to the center of this thing, and we'll see how... Okay, move down to the center. Here we're getting into the, cort the medulla, see? We've got capsule, cortex, medulla. Okay? And the medulla has these medullary cords and medullary sinuses. Cords are dense... Uh, uh, bands of, of macrophages and then the sinuses are where the blood's going to be flowing through or the, the lymph is going to be flowing through and we see down here in the cortex see there's your your, your medullary in the in the medulla here's your medullary cords of uh, macrophages and here are the sinuses through which the fluid's going to be flowing and then we have some some uh, connective tissue and blood vessels and stuff that are giving it structure. Okay. And so, now let's see if we can find, let's go around this thing. Okay, I'm just following the capsule around. What am I hoping to find? Not a cleft. Okay, there's a trabeculum, by the way, coming in. See the band of connective tissue coming in for support? Okay, so there's a trabeculum. I'd like to find a hilus. I'd like to find vessels, afferent or efferent. And they've done a very nice job on this one so far of missing all of that. Because all we have is just a nice, smooth external. A little bit adipose. Yeah, I don't see any vessels or a hilus or anything on this particular slide. Sorry. So there might be one on the test, though. <laughs> well, of course there might be one on the test, though. That's not fair. Oh, fair schmear. You people whine about all this stuff. Whatever it takes. I will take... I will, t pardon? Oh, what is the organ? Obvious. Lymph node. Yeah, it's a lymph node. And I will take a look at a couple of other lymph nodes here. This looks like... <laughs> I think this is the same. Do I hear sarcasm out there? <laughs> Well, a hilus is just a little indentation. I think this. <laughs> Quit whining, you're on tape. Come on. I want to get a good grade. That's the Yeah. <clears throat> a cleft is a split that goes in deeply, like you know, a field of view deep or so, while a hilus is a slight indentation, like on the side of a bean, like a kidney-shaped structure with a little indentation. We'll find hilus occurs on many things. It just means an indentation. It, it occurs on kidneys, lungs, lymph nodes. It's a description of that depression. I think this is a... Um, little bit of a vessel, lymphatic vessel, but it's in the capsule. You can see the simple squamous lining. And I don't think I can be so bold as to say that's part of a valve. Um, well, things like that always show up when you, when you don't 
when, when it's not what you're studying. You know? Um, I'll try one more lymph node, and this one looks like a different one. Okay, immediately you can see good capsule and lymphatic nodules and germinal centers, bingo, jumped right out. Uh, adipose. Come back and look at that in a minute. See, it's got a lot of the adipose around it. That certainly looks like a hylus, Deanna. Thank you. Okay, a nice big indentation coming in. Okay, and, and adipose in it is fairly typical of, of hyli. No, that's a game. Hyluses in general. Okay. <clears throat> A lot of capsule, a lot of adipose. What's that? Good answer. I hear vein. And, and yeah, it's got a lot of connective tissue around it, so I'd say that's a nice big vein. How about that? I think that's a good lymphatic vessel. It's got a nice lumen. It's lined with simple squamous epithelium. And uh, it does not have tunics around it, does it? I mean, the vein you caught right away. That's great. Okay, So that looks like a lymph vessel. Great subcapsular space. Great trabeculum coming in. It's a huge lymph node, so it took a long ways around. Um, what are those little guys? Little arteries? Good, good. What's that? Yeah. This, this is some kind of characteristic. That, that's, a, that's a characteristic view of something. You know what that is? It's what? Uh, no, no, no. No? Well, can you identify the tissue? What, what, what's the tissue indicated by the tip of the pointer? Smooth muscle. Sure. See? And what it is, it's a little artery. Here's an artery. Pointers in an artery. It'd be hard for you to identify it here, wouldn't it? Why? It's cut longitudinal. And see, here are the little smooth muscle cells that are wrapped around it. So they're cut crosswise, aren't they? And when you see this on an artery like this, it, usually, it can't follow it straight for very long. It has to taper off pretty soon. And as it starts to taper off, you see that circular muscle where it was wrapped around, it starts getting the tangential cut. Is that kind of clever? Kind of neat. I won't throw that at you on a test, but but it's kind of a neat view. Okay. I don't see the kind of uh, lymphatic vessel here that we could, you know, zero in on and find a valve, for example. That'll happen randomly somewhere down the road when we're studying something else, and I'll bring it to your attention. Um, the other last slide that we want to look at isn't that pretty? What, what do we see here? Yeah, I, I expected to hear glue. Actually, no. This is really the specimen. There is glue. That's glue. There's our old friend glue. Okay, it's it's this slide delaminates. I don't know why. But there it is. We pop in on a 